What's up guys, Tardis Circle from the Action Network and I'm here to give you my favorite play for Thursday's slate. We're heading out to Ann Arbor as Michigan welcomes in the number one Purdue Boilermakers for a showdown that's going to be entertaining to say the least. This is a matchup between Zach Eady, seven foot four, and a huge offensive threat inside against the versatile Hunter Dickinson of Michigan. This is gonna be a great matchup and I think Michigan has the advantage here. Purdue's pick and roll and ball screen defense is below average. And that's where Michigan really operates. They run through Dickinson, his ability to pick and pop, his ability to pick and roll. Michigan's guards are able to attack the rim. So this is not a great matchup for Purdue's defense that really struggles, you know, having to switch through and, and leaving Edie either on the perimeter to be beat because he's so much slower or having him to drop down in coverage and lead to open threes. So Michigan has the advantage there on the offensive end that I think we'll be able to keep this game close throughout. And we've seen the last, last year against Purdue, Michigan lost by six on the road, won by 24 at home. Hunter Dickinson had 50 combined points in those two games, doubling Zach Edie's output. This is a different team, obviously, than last year that relies more heavily on ED down inside. They're the number one offensive rebounding team in the country. They get most of their offense at the free throw line and inside through ED, who either kicks out the shooters and whatnot or takes it to himself. But I think Michigan's going to be able to not double team ED. They, they can use Dickinson, who has the height and the weight to really combat ED around the rim. And Purdue, they're around 230th in three point shooting. So they're not a great three point shooting team. Braden Smith is the key cog to the engine and maybe Fletcher Lawyer, but even then, I don't think Purdue is going to be able to take care of Michigan and pull away like they have been able to do against lesser opponents, and we've seen in Big Ten plays thus far over the last two weeks, Purdue inflated a bit with three late wins, barely beating Michigan State, barely beating Ohio State, and just beating Maryland this past week. So I like Michigan here, plus five and a half. I would bet them down to plus four and a half. Jet Howard's Obviously questionable with an ankle injury. I think he plays, but even if he is out for this matchup, I still think Michigan is able to keep it close, and I'm going to take the couple of possessions here from the whole team, home team against an overrated Purdue team that is pretty overvalued in the market considering they have just one loss this season. The Wolverines are live tonight, so I'm back in Michigan. Best of luck on your plays, and I'll see you next time.